one else had ever said what you said to me. And so I heard what you said, and I thought, all right, I'm going to say something that I've never said before. Right. But I'm not going to be saying a speaker's corner. What I do want to talk about is that we can do this. It's about mental health and um, suicide, suicide among young men, especially between the age of 18 and 30, which is the highest killer of young men. Now, one thing I'm really disgusted about is that this young bro, me and him, have not always got along. There has been, I didn't know who he was, but online, me and him have gone to and fro. But at the end of the day, yeah, even if I don't like him, which I do, I do like him, I'm saying even if you don't like him, when, when a man has disclosed something so personal and spoken about something about, you know, uh, mental health and people are mocking and ridiculing and I've read some of the most vilest comments, some of the most vilest things people have said that even rap or Omar, yeah, and he's like, oh, you should kill, you know, after the last, oh, you should kill yourself, you should have killed yourself, you should have done this and that. Now, the thing is that this is the reason why men do not disclose their inner kind of uh, uh, frailties about depression because we've seen it firsthand when a man says oh i felt depressed what do they do 50 percent of the men will say oh you're a pussy hole you're this and that and that and i would use what you've disclosed about yourself against you and this is why men do not openly talk about mental health issues if you're a man and you say you suffer from mental health they act like you're a little bitch or something yeah like you've got something wrong yeah so we've seen it being a man i've never suffered from him yeah. but i'm still Sympathetic to brothers that are. Yeah. I can't ask for that. Really. So, what do you say about that? Because I've seen some nasty. For me, if, you. if you're suffering with what I was suffering and what Raj was suffering with, I would say speak out. Like, tell people how you're feeling. People around you, people that love you. Believe me, there's people around you that love you. Um, and and don't hold it inside. Because bottling it up inside is not going to help. It's definitely not going to help. But one of the, but this is the problem that I've seen here, and I, I knew this all along. That the problem is this: men are fearful to disclose this inner problem because of how other men would then use it against Don't them. Don't let it bother you. No, but, but the thing is, for me and you, we're strong now. I'm a, I'm a but, soldier. Bro. No, but what I'm saying at this precise moment, I'm like a freaking machine. You cannot get through to me. That's yeah? it. No matter what you say, it doesn't affect me. But there was a point in my life when I was vulnerable that any word, even a single word, would have pushed me over to the edge. And I want to say to all these nasty individuals that one day someone might be uh, in your own family, your brother, your sister, or whatever, your kid, could be suffering the same thing, and they will look at these comments online, yeah, when they're looking at a video and think, all right, my dad said this about you, or my brother said this, and you're going to regret the day that you said this shit. Because this ain't, this ain't, this ain't some stink about, you know, this isn't an issue that just affects one group of people, yeah? Good. I'm good, bro. Well, this is an individual here that, the reason why I'm not talking to him is because he's mocked suicide and has mocked what, what, mental what, what, health. You said that he said after the live stream? What? That he said he should go kill himself. You know, after we did the live stream, me and him, yeah. and we disclosed so much personal information, the guy was saying, oh, this guy's a pussy hole. He should have killed himself. Raj should have killed himself. You should have done this. You should have done that. Let me say something. We're more stronger than these idiots here than they could ever be. This is why these rats and these little pussy holes that they want to walk about saying that, oh, you should have killed yourself can never be more men than we are. Because yeah, we, we're open about our issues here yeah, and we've confronted them and we've got through it. Yeah, we're the man who exploits the situation on his live stream to get and views. And the thing is, yeah, this, these type of individuals you're going to see in the background, these type of people are going to regret the day they said it because one day they're going to watch this video or they're going to watch a video. What I'm going to say is anyone that follows them is just as much as a waste man as he is. Because if you stand under the comments this prick is making, yeah, notice how I'm not even looking at him. He's a pussy. Old man. Says the one who's making big boy threats, G. Pussy, pussy on yourself. Certified like, like, you midget, bro. Me, uh, what? Move what? Move what? Move what? Move what? I'm not gonna ask out, midget. What? I've been looking for you all week. What? Do it. What do you think I'm shook? What? What are you doing, bro? Four foot nine, bro. What? Little man. What? Little man. What? Oh, all week, throw it, 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 throw it,
Yeah. We grab, did they grab your thing? Yeah. Oh, it's someone drop something here, bro. It's not kicking corner, man. Take it easy, man. You lose the freedom here. Come on. 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 Come Relax, man. Relax, bro. It's all about punishment rewards, isn't it? You know. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>